Uh, one of my personal favorites. This is kind of bittersweet because I, I love this trailer. Me personally, like I could be in this trailer and be really happy. But it's just not the cards right now because I just don't get to camp as much as I want to. So all you're going to hear me do is just just swoon and drool and fanboy over this thing the entire time. But 7,060 pounds, the Cougar 29 BHS. Why do I love it? Well, let's see. Uh, private bedroom with king bed. Theater seating across from a just monstrous entertainment center. Awesome storage. Outside kitchen, direct entry bath door, and this huge cargo garage in the back that's matched by basically nothing else. I love this camper. The 29 VHS is far more travel and pack em up friendly than you might think. Like it's easy to see when you walk in the front door here, you got this big closet. And did you notice that light kick off? There's actually motion sensitive lighting in here and I love how sensitive it is. It does an amazing job. As soon as you open that light or that door, it's gonna kick right on for you. Now, uh, you know, bedroom, this storage, and, uh, you know, this big chunk of countertop storage here, it's very easy to get to, but what about the rest of the camper? You're looking at it going, man, I gotta jump over the countertop. Not true in this case, because actually, this uh, second entry door straight to the bathroom gives you access to the remainder of the RV, which is pretty darn handy and pretty darn slick. Come up here through the bathroom area, pop the door open, even with the slide closed. You see, we can get right through here. We can get to the rest of the kitchen, apparently, in transit. That cushion hit the floor, but uh, neither here nor there. But you can see, you can get to your drawers. You can get to everything under the countertop. Um, if we flip around back here, we can get to this huge potential cargo space that you'll get to see uh, more as we open the slide and step outside. And it just, for a half ton towable type camper, um, it just, it does basically everything, and it does it very well. Like, a lot of times bunkhouses, they don't always have good windows. Well, this one's got maximum size windows. A lot of times bunkhouses don't have a comfortable seating for mom and dad to enjoy on a rainy day. Well, here we've got, like, the king and queen's throne directly across from this just huge TV. Um, so you've got good entertainment. We've got the bigger refrigerator, the nicer countertops, the stainless sink, the direct entry bathroom, the monster cargo garage back here, the vaulted ceiling that opens this sucker up and makes the shower very tall guy friendly, or I guess maybe tall lady, but tall person friendly, which is something I personally enjoy. The bigger king bed in the bedroom, the privacy. It has so many what I call make or break features. Any one of those things I just mentioned to some people, they could be like, no, if it doesn't have that, I'm not buying it. This has all of them and it does them very well and that's the thing it's not like this thing is just cobbled together it is executed with mastery it's awesome so um and again i told you i was just gonna end up gushing about this thing because i personally really like this unit but let's kind of <coughs> start from the top down work around standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner. So uh, instead of upgrading to a larger AC, uh, you'll hear me talk about this outside. Cougar standardizes everything to the needs of their largest floor plan. Well, because their biggest floor plan needs more heating and cooling, this model, by default, gets more heating and cooling. Isn't that cool? We've got double row high intensity lighting. And what's nice is there's, uh, um, like, you can actually integrate uh, your phone into the camper system so that things like light, well, here, let me turn around. This is in command. You're going to hear me talk a little bit more about this inside. But in command is awesome. This is something that's been available on, like, the, the Fusion Luxury fifth wheel toy haulers, the Montana Legacy Luxury fifth wheels. And now it's standard on all Cougars, travel trailer, fifth wheel, otherwise. And basically, anything that you see on this screen, you can also do on your phone. It has a battery monitor, so you can see how much power's left. Awesome for boondockers. Uh, you can control your pump, your lights, all that stuff right from here. Um, you know, your uh, you could have your, your phone in your pocket and control your lights. You can control your slides and awnings. Here's a neat thing. HVAC, heating, uh, venting, air conditioning, etc. So, if let's say you're laying in bed at night. And it's just a warm, hot night, and you weren't expecting that, and you wake up sweating or something like that. You can reach over to your nightstand, grab your phone, and you can crank up your air conditioner without ever getting out of bed. If you wake up at night and you forgot to close the awning and it's windy and you hear the awning banging around, you can grab your phone and close your awning. You never have to get out of bed. The things that this can do are exceptionally cool and awesome. Let's say you're going to set up camp 
and you want to make sure that this slide can open without hitting something, you can take your phone, you can walk around the outside of the RV and open the slide up to line of sight that slide out to make sure nothing gets hit or broken. It's just awesome, all the different things it can do. So over here in the big super slide, we have maximum size windows and they all open for ventilation. Um, the only trick of that is pointing the camera right at windows makes this kind of sketchy. But one thing I do want to, uh, to point out is within the slide out, they have like one switch for all the slide lighting. And the other thing is, it's a little touch sensitive dimmer switch. We also see these in our Eagle RVs here at Halitz. And if you touch it, they just kind of swell down. And at night, that little glow right there is perfect for like evening dinners or movie time or something like that. And if you turn them off and on, they remember their last position. You touch and hold it and it swells right back up to life. Now the theater seat over here um, is uh, it's kind of a, a blessing in disguise. You don't realize it because a lot of people go, I was kind of hoping for a hide bed for extra sleeping. What you don't realize is that that wall hugging theater recliner basically can very easily be a sleeper. So your total sleeping capacity in this RV is, is very, very good. It starts back here with the bunks. Uh, obviously we've got our top and bottom uh, double double bunks. And then as we pan back to the theater seat, you get to see that the uh, uh, both of them lie fully back to give you maximum sleeping capacity right there. And one of the things that we kind of tuned into listening to our customers, because you folks really shape a lot of what we do here at Halitz, is um, older couples in fifth wheels would often say, you know, the grandkids, they always end up sleeping in my recliners. So we just, we don't care. You know, that's we're just going to get something with recliners. We don't care about like a grandkid bunkhouse, which I think is smart because most of the time I think a grandkid, anyway, grandkid bunkhouse <laughs> is usually a mistake. So this to me makes more sense. Not to mention, again, stuck inside on a rainy day. Look what kind of happens over here with this little bunkhouse area. You can flip this cargo bunk up and during the day, the kids, especially little kids, really have their own little space, their own little hangout toy space. They can kind of play games, they can pull the curtains. And I love the fact, by the way, that there are separate curtains for the upper and lower bunks and also a ladder so you don't have to throw your kid into the top bunk. But the size of this is tremendous. If I just climb in here, just to kind of show you, sitting all the way up on my knees, grown man, plenty of room in here. This thing's huge. If I was a kid and I had my own little built-in fort built into a bunkhouse like this, oh, you'd never get me out of it. I'd be playing Legos in there all day long. You'd never get me out of that thing. And then again, on a rainy day, the up, uh, grown kids kind of have their own little upper catbird seat up here at the loft. Now, um, as we uh, move around a little bit, looking at the easy viewing entertainment center, you see how the TV is sitting in here. Uh, the technical term is a little kitty wampus, but uh, the reason for it is this has an easy viewing swing out HD TV. But if you notice, there's also exceptionally good storage behind the TV. The articulating swing arm on this TV has a couple benefits for us. First of all, it allows you to actually get to the plugs of the TV so you can like you know, plug in Chromecast sticks or anything like that. The other thing is, if you look around, well, I mean, first of all, we already have that massive entry pantry right there. But if you look, this is really like a second pantry. This is an additional kitchen pantry with full depth storage above. So you actually have not one, but two really big pantries. Or what you can do is you can use this to stuff all the kids' clothes in here. And this can be the kids' clothes closet or overflow pantry space or a combination of the two, whatever you want. Now, we don't have any storage in the bottom four panels here, which throws some people off. They say, why'd they waste it? This is your outside kitchen behind that panel. So instead of having to get down here on your hands and knees to get to this storage, they made it an outside kitchen that's easier to access, and they used every ounce of space they could on the inside where it was easy, natural, and organic to reach. They really executed that well. I think it's very smart. Um, let me uh, move the TV back out of the way here. A little trickier with just one hand, but we got enough practice. We'll get her done. So pretty much throughout all of Keystone, one thing I've noticed that's kind of uncommon in the business is they have really thick interior walls. They have thicker, like three inch interior walls. Remember, Cougars already have the thicker two inch exterior walls. And again, that's why I like to call this a lighter weight trailer, maybe not an ultra light, I guess maybe super light or whatever cute phrase the marketing guys want to apply to it. But the fact is it's lighter than the average bear. It's maybe not necessarily the very lightest, but it's also got some heavier construction. A lot of trailers just lack. So the easy entry bathroom with the porcelain foot flush stool, and you will find that all of the countertops, whether it's here in the bathroom, um, in the kitchen, they are all uh, thermal foil. They're sealed edged and waterproof. 
And more and more campers are starting to use this stuff instead of uh, particle board tea molding, and I'm very happy for it. It's just a better material. It costs a little more, but it's a better material. So a quick glance at her from the other direction. Now, the uh, center armrest console in that theater seat right there, there is storage within it. So it is very easy to like keep your remotes and stuff uh, from getting lost. And I love the fact that there's cup holders on the sofa as a result. And just those big windows letting in all that beautiful light. Now, um, as I uh, move over this way, I want to take a uh, minute to uh, take a look at all the kitchen storage. So starting with the uh, upper kitchen cabinets, you can see they're the same depth as the microwave. They're not shaved down. Big double stainless uh, sink with that high-rise faucet. There are two sink covers for that. I don't want people to think that those are not included. Uh, you can see there's also been a big wastebasket space below that. In addition to the three easy access kitchen drawers, we have two extra large like pots and pans drawers around the, uh, I guess, back side of the kitchen counter by the entry door or front side, whatever you want to call it. The fact is, this is what I call 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. Not an ounce of space, gone to waste. That's nerdism number 37 for you. And if you're asking me why are they all number 37, the answer is, well, really, why not? That's really the only answer. So again, sealed edge countertops. And um, I like how they really extended this out as far as they could. And they were able to extend that further instead of cut that countertop off. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Because the direct entry bathroom door does give you full access to the floor plan when it's closed, remember. So... In addition to the sink covers, we have a recessed stovetop, which gives it plenty of space. And you kind of saw it when we first started our video. We've got the uh, just, just ridiculously sized pantry or entry area coat closet or whatever you want it to be. And I think maybe that's another thing I like about this floor plan. I'm a person who likes options. If I want to turn this into a closet and I want to turn the area behind the TV into a pantry, I can. If I want dual pantries, I can. If I need more clothes, clothing space, I have it. You'll never have too much storage, but you can have too little. And I don't think this RV is in any jeopardy of having too little storage anytime soon. By the way, eight cubic foot fridge freezer, not a six. Everything in a Cougar is just a slight bit bigger. That's really who these guys are. Everything a little bit bigger. We do have a sliding pocket privacy door here that does take us to our Camp King bedroom. Um, so we've got more room to walk or, or to uh, uh, roll over and lay around the bed, but uh, we've also got plenty of room to still walk around it. Cougar has a custom-sized bed here that uh, it, it works for so many people uh, because a full-on true king in a north-south bed like this, you can't walk around it. Cougar found the exact right sweet spot dimensions to make this thing very comfortable. And, you know, uh, anyone who's ever had a queen bed and gone to a king, it's like having dial-up internet and then going to high speed. There is no going back, is there, ladies and gentlemen? Once you've had that space of that king, there's no going back. And I think the folks at Cougar understand that. Now, notice, we've got dual hanging closets. We've got big uh, side stands with power outlets for CPAPs. Then we have this recessed headboard area up here to be able to just, I don't know, phones, alarms, anything you want you can put up there with its own little headboard outlet area. Now, um, the uh, vent up here, if you do choose to put 50 amp service on this cougar and add a second air conditioner, you will sacrifice that vent. Again, we haven't found in our region, there's a big call for that, but I know that that's one of those things that can vary greatly from area to area. Arizona, Texas, you folks get different weather than we do here in the Midwest, and we can always build one appropriate for your region. No big deal. TV hookups right across from the bedroom, but you know what I like? I like how much big, wide open real estate there is to be able to add a TV up there. It's kind of interesting how many RVs don't have enough space to be able to throw a TV in the bedroom, even though they say there's a TV bracket here. There's nowhere to actually put it. Now, one of the things you don't want to do, because these lights are on the same switch as those lights, one of the things you don't want to have to do every time you want to turn off the bedroom lights, you don't want to have to walk out here, turn the panel on, hit the light switch. Not when you're in the bedroom. You don't want to do that. So, in just an utter move of sheer genius, Cougar added just this quick little rocker switch panel right here. So that in the bedroom, you can turn the bedroom lights on and off at your leisure and not have to go traipsing through the whole camper in your skivvies. <laughs> so normally, uh, when you're out here, what you're faced with is the choice of either a second entry door to the bathroom, or an outside kitchen, or a cargo garage. And this one has all three, which is, again, why I just keep going nuts over this thing. But 
kind of like the inside, the general message of the day here is that everything on a Cougar is a little bit bigger. Like we have this huge front storage compartment, which is all kinds of storage. Easy place to get to see the aluminum skeleton work done in this. What's neat on Keystone too is they double side vertical welds even in non-structural areas. Now we talked about it a little inside, but this thing, uh, I've actually done separate videos on it in command. This is awesome. I love it. So. Keystone was the first Tobol manufacturer, and it's still exceptionally uncommon to have all color-coded wiring. So God forbid a service tech has to track down electrical work, which is a nightmare, by the way. This makes it much, much easier. Now, you also don't have uh, traditional RV blade fuses. Instead, you've got these uh, much higher strength, reliable things right here that you can pick up at like any automotive uh, store. They look like lighting relays, basically, because that's pretty much what they are. Now that handy dandy touch screen inside that we looked at, what if that thing dies or gets broken or whatever? How, how, how do you close the slides? Well, you see this right here, this little selector knob? We can choose um, awnings, slide outs, different things, open and close. So there's still a physical override switch in the case that cool digital pad ever fails, which we've not had one to date fail in a year and a half. So uh, I'm not really worried about that. The other neat thing down here is you've got that little motion sensitive light, just like we saw uh, in the pantry by the entry door. Now you got one here in the pass through storage. The idea is that it lights up when you need it and it shuts off when you don't, so you're not killing your battery. Although you can just hard turn them on. Neat little thing here. We've got uh, nice thicker baggage doors because we have nice thicker walls. That's an exceptionally uncommon quality in trailers that are laminated and generally considered lighter weight. Cougars have full two inch walls. They don't drop down to an inch and a half wall on their lighter weight floor plans. It's very unusual, it's very uncommon, and I think it's one of the reasons that we just don't tend to see the structure related items with our Cougars because they just literally have a thicker, heavier structure. I'm not worried about the construction of inch and a half walls. Some of our best built, most reliable trailers here at Halid RV have inch and a half walls. And if you've seen some of my other videos, then you would actually know they have the same amount of aluminum skeleton work inside of an inch and a half wall as a two inch wall. The difference here, it's a little more sound dampening, slightly higher R values, and it just feels more solid. It's that intangible feels quality. Um, 30 pound propane tanks instead of 20s. And I guess that's the best way I can describe this camper is that it's a lighter weight trailer, not necessarily an ultra light trailer like its sister, the Passport. Um, a lot of similar construction features. This one's just built to be eh, a little thicker on the bone, so to speak. Power tongue jack, power awning, those things are like dime a dozen, but what's not a dime a dozen in travel trailers is standard auto leveling. Um, there are positives and negatives to everything. I think one of the best parts about auto leveling, one, it's easy, you know. Now, these things have a learning curve, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna have to push the buttons, you're gonna have to read the manual, you're gonna have to ask a few questions, and once you get it figured out, you're gonna like it. If you're a person that just doesn't like to mess with things, you don't wanna figure it out, you just want it to do the thing it's supposed to do, this might not be for you. Now, it's not like you have to learn calculus to operate this thing, it's just that they operate differently. And that's one of those things that uh, we walk you through our service center here. Every time you buy a new RV from Halet RV, we, uh, we don't do hidden fees, by the way, so showing you how it works, things like that automatic leveling system, uh, giving the camper a bath inside and out, uh, propane, battery fill, water and electric surge protectors even, um, those are all things that we do. Uh, without extra hidden fees, we, we actually publish real market price tags and that seems to be an uncommon thing. Maybe that's why people like working with us because you know our goal is to put the recreation in recreational vehicles. It's kind of why they're called RVs. You may have also noticed while I was pointing down there the enclosed heated underbelly with a 30,000 BTU furnace, which is quite large for travel trailers. Um, Simple solar prep right here if you want to keep your 12 volt battery type stuff topped off And I love the easy access battery disconnect and leveling controls that we have right here And I like that these are kind of tucked up out of the way where cargo is not going to shift and hit them But um, you know, it's they're still easy to reach water and cable docking station over here um, the uh, How can I describe well the Cougar slides? really uh, uh, almost anything Keystone, but specifically Cougar does a lot of extra things on their slide outs you just don't normally see in the marketplace. 
it's it's kind of hard to show on video but if you pull this seal back you can see there's actually another wiper seal behind it and I don't think the the Sun's gonna cooperate with us but if you can peel back another layer there's actually an interior wall rain channel so the God forbid water somehow penetrates through uh, the the triple seal action because we have two wiper seals and then an interior bulb seal or we have um, dual wiper seals and an exterior seal when the slide is closed there's an interior wall channel to basically shunt water away from getting inside the camper. So they've done a lot of extra things there. Now something people ask about all the time is does this have a walkable roof? And you're actually gonna see that in a few minutes here. But yes, it has a walkable roof and also has walkable slide outs. There's also little differences like the, the, the trim they use at the bottom of the slide actually has a drip rail built into that as well to keep water away. And all these carbon copies of all the keystones that are out there, those are the kind of details they lack. When you put a document on a copy machine, you get a functional copy, but not the original. It lacks the fine details. So the cargo rack on the back here rated for 225 pounds. It doubles as just the ideal bike rack, which is why you have this little flip up post right there. But this, this thing back here, we saw it on the inside. This is the thing that like, so many other campers, like, I can get something with a uh, an outside kitchen and some bunks and a door that maybe isn't direct to the bathroom but close to it. Like, another favorite I have is a 29BH Whitehawk. But this, to, to, to have the ability to literally just load bicycles. Not load bicycles and have the handlebars sticking out funny. Just load the bicycles. You can do that here. The, uh, the number of other campers you can do that on are precious few. One of the only other ones you can do that on is a copy of this made by its sister, the Passport, called the 29DB Passport Elite. It's just literally, this thing was being so successful, Passport said, hey, uh, you mind if we get on that? And Google went, no, man, go ahead, you're Keystone, we're good. So, you know, the only other camper I've really seen that does all the things this does is a Keystone copy of this Keystone, basically. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's differences between the two products, but this is the, I always come back to this thing. It's just awesome. Uh, backup camera ready naturally. Now look at this power awning, this easy tilt power awning. So first of all, let's let's zero in on the easy tilt aspect of this. Two fingers can literally crank that awning uh, down onto an angle and make it, uh, you know, so that water runs off on a little bit of a rainy day. But uh, the other thing is it's self-writing. So uh, when you hit the close button, if that awning's cranked down, it will level itself back out. Also, notice the fact that it clearly covers both entry doors. Now, the entry doors on this are also anti-slam doors, so whether it's a windy day or the kids just aren't thinking and they just fling the door open, they just flip the door, well, it catches itself and it doesn't go really anywhere. Those are adjustable, by the way. If you want more or less tension, you can do that. It kind of freaks some folks out that we have a direct entry bathroom because like, I'm afraid someone's going to walk in on me on the potty. Well, remember guys, you've also got a deadbolt door here. This door is no different from that door. And speaking of deadbolts, some folks, whenever there's a cargo door in a bunkhouse, some folks get a little spooked by that. Well, guess what? That also has a locking door on the back. So you, you, you're equally secure all the way around. And what's also kind of neat, and I think this was a smart thing on Cougar's part, is there's, there's no deadbolt actuator on the inside. You key lock that from the outside so the kids can't unlock themselves and climb out the back door and go gallivanting around the campground without your knowledge and know-how. That is something I've never seen a detail, uh, I've never seen that detail covered by another manufacturer. They really crushed that right there. Uh, Cause that's a concern I've heard from a lot of parents like, eh, you don't know my kid. They, he likes to run around and go catfishing at night and then he comes in with stinky shoes. That's what my older brother used to do, seriously. Um, aluminum plank entry steps and notice they're triple steps on both doors. Cause again, everything on the Cougar is a little bigger. They didn't scale down back here. The aluminum steps are stronger than the steel steps. Um, they're easier to see at night and they don't get slippery when wet. And that's a good thing. Not to mention corrosion is just not a thing here. So the uh, outside, mini outside kitchenette. I love what they did because uh, as we talked about inside, it fits under the entertainment center, you know? Instead of having to get on your hands and knees to dig through a cabinet to get to storage, they open this up at the outside where it's at like chest or belly level where you can actually get to it. And that's another thing. This grill is like, I'm like 6'3", it's at my waist level. It's where I want to be cooking. It's not 
a lot of these outside kitchens, they sit way too high. I don't have that problem here. You can hose the kids off, then send them into the shower if they've been in the lake and got the turtle smell on them. And of course, Dad's medicine cabinet out there. And about a year and a half ago or so, um, Cougar transitioned over to these Capital Grills, and they are very popular because they actually cook extremely well. They look aesthetically very pleasing. They're just very nice. And again, the magnet latches make everything simple and one-handable. Now, things like uh, braking, suspension, chassis, all that stuff here, um, that's kind of a neat thing on a Cougar, is what they'll do is they'll say, okay, what's our very, very largest unit? And that would be the 34 TSB Cougar triple slide bunkhouse. Well, what they do is they say, okay, what air conditioner do we need? What chassis, what suspension, what frame, etc." Great, now that we know the biggest unit and the heaviest load demands, use that across the board. And again, I think it's that consistency in construction, and really in a way overbuilding a lot of their models that has made them really popular and successful because they just don't tend to wiggle loose. But then again, I don't think it's an accident that uh, the, the brand most concerned with structural integrity, it seems, also has the industry's most comprehensive three-year structural warranty because these things are not created equally. Keystones does cover more things than anybody else's. That being said, let's take a peek upstairs. I think we're good to wrap her up. So as you may notice, we are not strangers to RVs. There are so many different things that we see, feel, touch on a given day. And most of these things have walk-on roofs. And it might sound silly, but Cougars seem to have like one of the most walkable roofs. And I don't know what makes it so different. I don't know if it's the double vaulted nature of the roof construction so that it's more weight dispersing and load bearing. But like when I walk on this thing, there is absolutely just no flex beneath my feet. It is so sturdy and so stable and so confidence inspiring. And again, maybe it's the, the, the extra structural items that they apply to the Cougars that help these things hold together. I just feel so solid walking up here. Now remember, not just to walk on roof, but also walkable slide boxes in Cougars. And uh, the other thing I've noticed, they are not like stingy with ceilings. Uh, like here, here we go. If you look around up here, you can see that they put a really heavy coating of sealant on everything. And where I think that's really important is the front termination strip right here. They just, they use more of it and it's on such a nice even coating. It's not glopped everywhere like I tend to find in a lot of brands in the business. They're not stingy with the stuff that, I guess my point here guys is these Cougars aren't just really sharp for the things that you can see. They're also a really smart investment for the things that you can't see. Very few people shop the roof of an RV. How many uh, times, like, you know, have you have you seen other people get up on the roof of a camper and talk about the roof of a camper? I've never heard of another dealership that does that. Um, this is normal for us, but maybe that's why, you know, a lot of people drive a long way to work with us here at Halet RV, because we actually take the time to show you and educate you on the differences between these two products and why maybe one is better for you than the other because every RV is the best in a different reason. That's why we have so many different things here at Halet RV. They're all cool in different ways, so it doesn't matter what you need. Whether it's, uh, you know, we've got our full service center over here, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, everything between. We only do everything at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.